So why didn't they have Zelensky sing? They should have had him sing something. Okay, yeah, welcome. Harmless Dave here over on the Real Media Observer. So the Grammys were a real treat last night for those of you who like virtue signaling. Um, they had Vladimir Zelensky make a surprise. Oh, it was a big surprise, even though it was pre-recorded. <laughs> they made he made a surprise appearance at the Grammy Awards, and he sent a powerful message about the cost of freedom and the healing power of music. Ah, wonder if that applies to Russian musicians like Leonid and Friends. Wonder if it applies to them. Uh, in a pre-taped video, the president spoke from an unknown location. He was in an unknown location in a bunker in his country, which is being bombarded by Russian bombs in an unprecedented attack to seize control of the country. Actually, no. If you read the mission statement, see the difference between, and again, I'm not advocating for war, but the difference between Russia and the United States is Russia actually has a clear objective. They say they want to demilitarize and denazify the country of Ukraine, or at least the Western portion of the country. Um, he talked here, Zelensky, about the bombs that were just blowing up right nearby. He remained poised, though. <laughs> In a pre recorded message, he remained pose, or poised and spoke with a stern, gravel like tone. They love his tone and they love that. They love that beard. They like everything about Zelensky. He's just this cool, buff looking dude, supposedly. Wears the short sleeve shirts. You can see the, you can see the guns. He's showing off his guns. And uh, that's about the only guns he could show off because every time we ship him weaponry, it winds up in the hands of uh, the Russians who come along and say, hey, where did everybody go? I've seen the videos. Where, where did they go? They deserted. They turned tail, they put on civilian clothes, and they went about their own business. Okay, so that's the cost of war, I guess. So Zelensky remained poised and spoke with a stern, gravel-like tone about the cost of Russia's ongoing war. Now, keep in mind, there, you need two countries to do war, and we've been hearing how valiant and wonderful and amazing the Ukrainians have been even though they're getting their ass kicked, that we're hearing about it all the time. If we could just send them more weapons and you know set up a no-fly zone, life in Ukraine would be back to normal. And all that $13 billion that we sent, plus all the donations, all these charitable organizations that are coming through, I'm really wondering where this money is going to end up. I mean, can I just be over there with a, like a, a giant net like if they were actually dropping dollars and I could just scoop up the money because I would do a lot more good with it. I might actually feed a couple of homeless people over here. I might donate to an American charity that is um, trying to help people that have been destroyed by both this economy and uh, the thing which affected us for two plus years and the little emperor, of course, threatening that it, it might come back at any moment. You really need to be on guard. We're, we're never going to be out of the woods. Great. Thank you, little doctor. Thank you for letting us know that. The war, what's more opposite to music, right? Because of all the silence that war creates, according to Zelensky. This had to be written by somebody. Come on, at the Grammys, the kids are drawing rockets in their coloring books, according to Zelensky, and not shooting stars. Hmm. I know rockets are pretty cool. I would draw a rocket as a kid. I liked rockets. Why, why do shooting stars, why, why is that way better than rockets? Because again, it fits the um, sort of all, we can all get along narrative. We're just all one people and we all love shooting stars, but we don't love rockets. No, well, aren't rockets what take us to the moon and to Mars and you know to the space station? Oh no, there are Russians on that space station. Never mind. I'm sorry. So anyway, he goes on to say, our parents are happy to wake up in the morning in bomb shelters alive. Now, here's what you could do, Vladimir, if you wanted to fix this. You could agree to the ceasefire. Because again, what Russia wants is not that hard to achieve. It's not those things that they want are easy to meet. This gets worse. 
Our musicians wear body armor instead of tuxedos. <laughs> well, most musicians, unless they are lounge singers, don't wear tuxedos. But um, the body armor thing, again, wow. These musicians are so, br again, these people just, they, they think we're really stupid. That's what drives me crazy. He goes on. They sing to the wounded in hospitals, even to those who can't hear them. Really? So you've got musicians running around singing to people in hospitals. Well, aren't they supposed to take up arms against the Russians to defend the capital? I mean, seriously, we heard that the Russians, they're getting tired. We hear this all. The Russians, they're, they're worn out. They can't do this anymore. Um, they're going to Ukraine. They're going to break them there. It's just a matter of time before the Russians fold up shop and the whole thing ends. And uh, it's good because we sent $13 billion. And because we sent $13 billion, you know, Russia is toast, right? Anyway, Russia is bringing horrible silence with its bombs, the dead silence. He urged those at the Grammy Awards to fill the silence with your music and to tell our story by sharing the truth of the Russian invasion on your... What is this with people who want you to go along with war? They're all like, please... You know, and I get it. You know, you can criticize me because I'm kind of it's not that I'm OK with Russia bombing Ukraine, but at least, like I said, there is an objective. There's a reason why they're doing it. Everybody's ignoring it. They don't think Nazis exist. They don't want to uh, address the issues of Donbass. They don't want to talk about any of it, which to me is mind blowing stuff. And so he goes on to name all the places in uh, Ukraine that have been besieged, like Kharkiv and uh, Mariupol. I have a dream of them living and free, free like you on the Grammy stage. Oh, gosh, no. Free like you on the Grammy stage. The president's speech was followed by John Legend's performance of Free. He was joined by Ukrainian instrumentalist can't pronounce her name, Siuzana, maybe, Ig Igladan, and singer Mika Newton for the inspiring number. Yes, it's so inspiring. Please send more weapons. Please send more money. Please, we need more of this so we can sustain our war and so we can continue. And quite honestly, the best thing we could do in all of this is to stay out of it. That would be the best thing we could do. And nobody seems to think that they're, they see, nobody, again, the intellectual curiosity, just like during the pandemic, there was no intellectual curiosity from those reporting, or at least because they were told to frame it a certain way. And if somebody questioned that, then they were to be ostracized and made to look ridiculous. That was the plan. And the same thing here. In fact, it's even worse in some ways because it's so lockstep and there's a, even Republicans, Democrats, it's like 80%. Yeah, this is great. We got, we got to help support Ukraine. We have to send our money there. What happened to America first people? Oh, this, that ain't America first. How all of a sudden does this foreign policy where you're giving your money to another country, how is that America first? We have so many problems. And they're only getting worse. They're only getting worse. And what are we doing? We're just, you know, going along with it. Most of us are going along with it. So being a contrarian on this channel and on this particular platform is a little risky. So if you can help me out, um, dollar a month via Patreon, the channel, even though I'm getting a few more views, a few more likes and so forth, um, this is a real uphill battle. I think the content is being throttled downward. And that's been the case on this channel, whether I was supporting Tulsi Gabbard or I had switched to being a very radical independent kind of dude, whatever it, it was, whatever I've done in all of this channel's incarnations, keep in mind, uh, somebody up there does not want to put the switch on where advertising revenue goes up and people are able to subscribe and I just don't mysteriously lose subscribers. So anyway... With that said, if you can support me a dollar a month or something like that, it would be appreciated. And again, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.